yes so i think this is 29th i think video but i'm not sure 29th video on the answers the list of upsc max optional so, so far what we are doing is we are been solving the previous years question papers on reanalysis from upsc max optional from 2018 to 1992 so in that way we have finished 9, 2018 17 16 15 14 13 12 and now we are in 2011 right so for the last two videos we have been solving the problem on sequence and series of functions that these are very very important topics and i kindly recommend you to watch from part one to part now right so if you watch in between or straight away watch this video i'm sure that you will not follow right so the second first and second one are very important and uh, this series with the this function is very important in sequence series of functions that is nx by 1 plus nx square so we have already we have already found the big area we have we already showed that the series summation nx by 1 plus n square x square is not uniformly convergent right under the series under the sequence also it is not uniformly convergent as the series also it is not uniformly convergent as a sequence also it is not uniformly convergent because in real 2015 video we have solved this problem and we have found that it attains a maximum value at x is equal to 1 by n and uh, at x is equal to 1 by n the maximum value is mn is equal to 1 by 2 and we have shown that limit n tends to infinity mn is not equal to 0 therefore it is not uniformly convergent so why because our maximum value x is what 1 by n 1 by n and uh, remember this uh, remember this can be uniformly con this can be made uniformly continuous right this can be made uniformly continuous if our interval does not contain zero it's a very very important thing if uh, this can be made uniformly continuous if our interval so we have showed that this sequence is not uniformly convergent in 0 comma 1 because it, it includes zero right so if, 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 if we can be make this made uniformly continuous if our interval does not contain zero so if our interval does not have zero we can make this function to be uniformly continuous does not have zero does not contain zero right so we already know say now we come back to our problem now so the series for which the sum of first n terms cannot be differentiated term by term at x is equal to zero so you you, you add the word term by term so when we can differentiate term by term the last video only you have seen if this derivative is uniformly continuous right the derivative is uniformly continuous then we can differentiate term by term but what we need to show so we know that this term cannot it, 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 this is not uniformly continuous whenever our interval contains zero right so we will i will show that in another way so first what we will what we prove is that we will show that it cannot be differentiated term by term at zero. First, we'll show this case and come back to this case now, right? So our it is a series, right? So our fn uh, fn of x is fn of x is summation n x. It is given that it is series, so that's why any summation here. One plus n n x by one plus n square x square. Now we have to show it cannot be differentiated term by term at zero. So we want to since it is we want to show at a specific point specific point what we need to show is that what we need to show is that at zero that is f dash of zero at zero is not equal to limit n tends to infinity s n dash of zero right so if i show that if it, 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 it is means that it cannot be deposited term by term right yes so we know f of x so first we will find first we will find lss and the rhs so first we find f of x so f of x is nothing but limit n tends to infinity fn of x right so what will be our limit n tends to infinity so this will be nx by 1 plus n square x square so this will be limit n tends to infinity so again i recommend you to watch the previous two videos these are very very important right so n x by so if i take n square common here so i'll have 1 by n square here plus x square so this 1 n will be cancelled so we have x by n into 1 by n square plus x square 
Now as n tends to infinity, you can see this will be infinity, this will be equal to 0. So therefore, our f of x is equal to 0. So this, this means f dash of x is equal, to, is equal to 0 for all x. This means f dash of 0 is equal to, this means at 0 it is also 0. So we have, proved, we have found the LHS part. So this is LHS part. Now we will find the RHS part. Right? So limit n tends to infinity Sn dash of 0. So this is nothing but derivative formula. I am just applying the derivative formula. So you know the derivative formula is nothing but Sn of 0 plus h minus Sn of 0 by h. I am not finding, I am just finding this alone. I'm, I'm, I'm not finding left hand derivative, right hand derivative, etc. So, this is enough for sequence of functions. So, this will be limit n tends to infinity Sn of h minus Sn of 0 by h, right? So, this will be limit n tends to infinity our Sn of h, our Sn of x is what? Our Sn of x is summation nx by 1 plus n square x square right so let us let us discard summation now so our h will be in place of x i'm just substituting h so nh by 1 plus n square h square our sn of 0 is 0 by h right so this h and this h will get cancelled so we will left with sorry sorry it will be square right Yeah, so we have limit n tends to infinity. So h by 1 will be 1 by h, yes. So 1 by 1 plus n square h, correct. This will be cancelled. So as a, so this, you have to find s n dash of 0. Sorry, sorry. It will be limit, limit n tends to infinity is already there. Now s n dash of 0 will be limit s tends to 0 right so limit s tends to 0 here and then we have limit n tends to infinity this is a derivative formula right so will be limit n tends to infinity so limit s tends to 0 or let us do that is here yes So this will be limit n tends to infinity and s n dash of 0 is nothing but limit s tends to 0. Our s n of h is nothing but n h by 1 plus n square h square. This is 0 by h. So this h and this h will get cancelled. So we have limit n tends to infinity and limit s tends to 0 1 by n by n by 1 plus n square h square now as s tends to 0 as s tends to 0 this will be what n by 1 plus n square into 0 so we will have limit n tends to infinity n which is equal to infinity so what will what is our f dash of 0 it is 0 and what is our limit n tends to infinity s n dash of 0 it is equal to infinity so it is not equal therefore it cannot be differentiated term by term it cannot be differentiated term by term right so what happens this is the first result is over now so what happens when n is not equal to 0 x is not equal to 0 you take this as a no mark now or exercise so very very easy you just follow the same technique which I did for real 2015 same question right so real 2015 the function is same so real 2015 yeah the function is same which is nx by 1 plus nx x square now you now you now you what you want to do is you just write up to this you just derive up to this so after finding this, since our interval does not contain 0 here, because x is not equal to 0, it can be differentiated term by term when x is not equal to 0, because it is uniformly convergent, because our term does, our interval does not contain 0, right? So our answer will be, it cannot be differentiated term by term at x is equal to 0, and uh, what happens at x is not equal to 0, it can be differentiated term by term, because of the 
previous previous problem result or else you can also show like you, you, or else what you will do you just show you just show we will use another method right so we can do in uh, many steps you just show that derivative is continuous derivative is uniformly continuous right so in the previous problem what we did is we are to show in order to show term by term what we did is we are to show that the derivative is uniformly continuous so what you will do is so this is a nice task for you you find the derivative of this and to show that the derivative is uniformly continuous for x not equal to 0 right so you please take that as an exercise right you can do so let me you, 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 I recommend you to do. I recommend you to do with this method, right? So what you will do is you find the derivative of that, and if after find derivative, you show that. So it's a very very important problem, and if you have that doubt, you please comment, or, or else I will do the next video, right? So please don't skip by not doing this. So you show that the derivative, you our f n of x is n x by one plus n square x square. Now this is a series. Right, so you find f n dash of x. You just apply u by v to a. You find now you, you now you check whether this series is convergent or not, uniformly convergent or not. So what you do, you just take the, take, take this as y, and you find supremum of this by finding u by dx equal to zero. Or else I should do. So this is n x by one plus n x square. So you can differentiate this. This is u. This is b. So I can you can I I'll, uh, I think you you will do this right. To differentiate this, you, you obtain f1 dash of x. Now you find limit n tends to infinity f1 dash of x. This will be our what? So you have to find supremum of f1 dash of x minus f1 dash of 0 is equal to uh, this, this is our mn now. So after finding f1 dash of x, you just find limit n tends to infinity f1 dash of x. That is our f of x. That is our f dash of x, right? So that is our f, this is f dash of x. f dash of x. So I think it, you, you will have zero here. So you just find you just find you just substitute f1 dash of x here. You take this as y. Now you find dy by dx equal to zero. Now you find the maximum value x. And the maximum value, you find what is the maximum value at x is equal to something. You substitute here, so you will have m1, and you check whether the series m1 is series m1 is convergent or not. If this is convergent, then our series will be uniformly convergent. And since our series is the series nothing but the derivative of this, this term this can be differentiated term by term, right? So you please do this. <coughs> if you have doubt, please comment in the comment section, right? So that's it. So these three questions are based on uniform continuous sequence and series of uniform continuous functions. So in the next video we will move on to the very basic problem that is find the shortest distance between origin to the hyperbola and uh, we have one more problem the fifth problem right. So that's it we will see in the next video goodbye thank you.